And welcome back to Web Squadron. We're going to cover off the formatting of elemental forms. Now, elemental forms is super, super simple. You just go over here, find forms, or type it in and get the widget, drag it onto your screen, and then create your form. And it's so versatile in what you can do here. You know, you can add extra fields, select, check boxes, step form, upload forms, or upload JPEGs, PDFs, whatever, things like that. Super, super simple. Now, we're not gonna change the formatting of this. We're changing the formatting of the email that's returned to you. Because if we go down here at the moment, it's gonna send an email to one of my accounts. It's just gonna say new message from Web Squadron at the top. And it's gonna give me back all the fields that I've got visible over here. And it's gonna have this email, name, and reply to there, and lots of metadata. So let's just see what happens when I send this to myself. So we're viewing the form now in an incognito window and we're just going to, yeah, we'll just pop in these details here. Okay, and we're just gonna say test no formatting, like so, and hit send. And that's now gonna go across the internet, around the world and probably return back to my inbox in about five days time. So here's the email that's arrived to my inbox. I've got my, you know, web squadron, blah, 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 the name, the message I put in and I get all this gobbledygook. And I'm one of those people where sometimes I don't need to need, I don't need to know all of this. And if you've got a client who wants just a simple form set out, they don't really want to be receiving all of this. It can get very confusing to them. They're gonna go Safari, Edge, Apple WebKit, what? Do I need to go to my fridge and get something out now? What do I need to do here? And the formatting here isn't exactly wonderful either. I mean, I only did one line, but what if I had multiple lines and the way it's laid out as well? I'm not overly liking this at the moment. So let's just try and uh, change the formatting maybe of this. I mean, this isn't too, I have to be honest, it's just name, email, message. It's not too bad, but can we make it look a little bit better in terms of the layout? Yes, we can. So let's just close that. One more thing I do need to point out though. When I now hit reply to this email, okay, I hit reply, it still has my email address over there. Look, the, the staging one, the one that linked back in, but it, and it's not really gonna send it there, because look, if I try and send anything, do you like my signature? It's gonna kind of like, let's just put fail. So I've just sent that email back, and look at this, it has failed. Why is it failed? Because it's going back to this staging email that's created automatically. Well, not staging, that's my website. It's gone back to this like almost fake email that gets created as per the website, um, as per the elemental form, which is a little bit misleading because it's not now doing what you thought it was. You thought, oh, I've got an email. I hit reply, it's gonna go back to them. No, it doesn't work like that because the person it was meant to go back to, there is their email address. Where is it? There you go. It's this email address here but it has not gone back to that one. And that's where we have to mess around a little bit with the formatting of the elemental form. So we're back into the elemental form and we're now gonna change the formatting. So first thing I wanna show you though is that when you go to each of your form, well, you go to your form fields, you got name, okay, you got email and we got message. If we go to name and we go to the advanced tab, we can see here, um, that it has an ID called name, and that is the short code. Field ID equals speech mark name, speech mark, okay? And square brackets either side, okay? Um, so, so make a note of that. Okay, same with the email. It's got one called email, and then we have one called message as well, and it's gonna be called message. Now, if I wanna change the ID to be messages, and the short code will also be now messages within there, okay? So remember that. So I'm just gonna take, uh, I'm just for now gonna take the name one, like so, I'm just copying it. I'm then gonna go back down now to my actual email. Now at the moment it says two, and that's obviously where I want it to go to. That's the email it's gonna come to, the, the one that's gonna receive all of his content, great. For the subject, I could leave it as new message from Web Squadron, or I could even put new message from field ID equals speech mark name, speech mark. So now it's gonna say new message from, and it will put the name in. You can also put web squadron in and whatever else you wanna put in there. It's entirely up to you. Now for the messages, it says all fields. I'm gonna get rid of that. And I'm gonna say um, name colon and put the name in. I mean, it's not gonna look that different. I have to be honest to what we got, okay? I'm then gonna do um, email 
and I'm going to put in the email. I'm just going to change that to say email and underneath I'm going to put a message as well like that. And you're probably thinking, well, that's not that different from the order you got it before. Let me just show you. Oh, let me make sure it says messages. And do take account if it was uppercase, lowercase, things like this can sometimes make a difference in coding. So messages. Now, before every field, I'm going to put a P, okay, with um, uh, the brackets, whatever you want to call them, okay? So P, P, P. And at the end of every single one, I'm also going to add in a return line and put in another P, like so. And I'm going to do that as well, okay? And then I'm going to close off those P's, like this. Okay, just close them off, close them off. Close, close close and we'll just put one there as well. So I hope you understand the format there, okay? I've put like a, a word, name, and then I've put the ID for that field. So if you've got 20 fields, you're gonna have to probably think about how you order it. But also, there might be some things that you might wanna show in a different order or a different method. So maybe you've got a field for forename and a field for surname. Over here, you would just put in a space and then you would put in the field ID for the surname. You don't have to put an and sign or a plus sign, just put a space and then put surname. You'll get the forename and the surname on one line. Okay, that's that's down to preference, okay? Right, so now when we get down to the from email bit, I'm gonna copy this field here, which is field ID equals email. And I hope this is starting to make sense what we're doing here. I'm gonna get rid of the email at staging three, and I'm gonna stick that in there. The from name, I'm going to change this to be name. So I want this now to tell me the name of who has sent this form. And for the reply to, well, it all auto, it, it should now automatically pick up the from email box bit. So as soon as you change this over here, this bit, the reply to also changes, okay? There is options down here though to, um, you can also, by the way, just click the email field and it does exactly the same thing. But because I'm trying to get you used to doing formatting here, I'm gonna leave it as field ID equals email, okay? Now before we go and test this out, what we're also gonna do is just scroll down and I'm gonna get rid of all the items down here. Now, you might wanna keep the date and time in, that's entirely up to you, but because I'm gonna get it via my email mailbox anyway, you know, the details, I'm just gonna get rid of the metadata there and I'm gonna click update, okay, right? And that's now updated, so let's now go to our incognito window. So here is our new message, okay? So we, I'm just gonna put it side by side as to what we got before. We now have the name of the person who sent the email within there, okay, before it just said Web Squadron. When you reply back to that, it would have gone to like the email at staging three, Web Squadron, whatever. Now, if I do reply, well, we'll show you that in a moment. I get new message from Imran Sadiq, so I got that there. The name is now there as well, rather than just the email address. We've got the email and we've got a bit more of a nicer layout. So before we had it looking like so, with all of the text below the meta tags and all that. Oops, don't want to open that. No, we don't want to save that draft, there we go. And now we have it looking like this. And it's a little bit more cleaner. So think about yourself, your audience, your clients. Do they want what's on the left? Or do they want what's on the right? So, which is about, oh, get my fingers right, just over there. Yep, okay, now what happens when we hit reply to this email? Well, now when we hit reply, it does say Imran Sadiq, but that's because it's got my name back within there. But if I just hit return a few times, and I drop this here, look, it's now got the email address of the person that sent the email to me. So now I can reply directly from my Gmail, mail, whatever you got. So look, this is a really, really simple, really, really cool way for how you can, quite simply really, format your emails in, in, uh, just to make them more user friendly in terms of what you get back and the way the information is presented to you. I hope that's okay and I hope you learned something from that. Like, subscribe and see you soon.